Hey guys, this is Jill and Sess. Welcome back to our channel. I guess there is no any other word to say apart from welcome back to our channel. You just have to say that repeatedly. Yeah, I think unless we, <laughs> until we get another word, that will work for now. Until we get another word. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, can we do? We normally try as much as possible to upload one video every week. And today, maybe we'll just show you because we're vlogging with the phone. We in a certain hotel in Nairobi. Yeah, so, so maybe, maybe you can, just can show us. Show you around. It's still in the morning, so there are no people actually. We are just a few of us. Yes. Welcome at least to our we, can, we can vlog freely yeah. without no one, like, with no one staring at us and, and not interfering. Maybe. But I know other people's uh, privacy. <laughs> and I know some people staring <laughs> at us from the office. Let them be thin by their but, own. <laughs> perhaps they're wondering, hey, this this lady that's like queens and be thin by your own. Okay, so, so we you know very well that we are we actually in the festive seasons already. The festivities yeah. are already beginning. You can see from around you some shops are already planning to close. There are already some uh, writings, advertisements about Black Friday is here and is making it even more of a, a festive season. And I know once you jump into it, mm -hmm. there's something that we really tend to forget. And then even maybe in the story to catch show, someone was telling me something about Black Friday. You know what Black Friday means? At the, during those past times, mm -hmm. Black Friday meant like Africans, the slaves, they were being sold at the Black Friday. And it used to so that is where it November. came from. So the name originated from that place, you know, from it's still, it, it's still helpful to helpful, helpful to us even now. So actually, what what I was trying to say is, when we get into the festive seasons, yeah. especially this one because it's long, especially for kids who are going to school, it's like two months they're off. It means at home there's always it's always live, lively, noisy, everything. And sometimes when you close job and you go into eat. You tend to feed kids, use your money. Like you use money, you spend a lot of money yeah. because now there are kids around. Yeah. You are around. You need so many things. They close for like two and a half months. So parents. And most of the time, we tend to forget that there's yeah. a January coming. There's a January that has hundred days coming. And this thing is always said. It's a, a cliche, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. People say save money so that you don't call people witches in January. <laughs> so we are here to family. remind you not to call me a witch. Actually, I just I'll just talk about what I do, yeah. just to prepare for the festive season. Just before I jump into it, I have a kid who is uh, five years old, and mm -hmm. next year she's going to school. Okay, school continues anyway. So thank God I'm not changing schools. If I was to change schools, then this is the right time. Mm -hmm. Like I know interviews have been done, so if you've already got your new school, then it means you are ready for school. So for me, I know she's uh, outgrown some of our uniforms. That those ones are bought because when she's going to a new class, yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, I'm out looking for books which should be done by next week on Monday. Shoes are already bought because she also grew her formal shoes. Mm -hmm. So, I think for me, that is the first one. And maybe just that to support first. you on that, mm -hmm. maybe just to support you because I think you're doing it right. Yeah. Because you can imagine January, each and every person is rushing to the bookshop. Each and every person is going to the uniform center. It's normally crazy. crazy. Yeah. And when the demand is high, it means that the prices go high. So I think for right now, it is very calm. If you go to, if you're in Kisumu, you visit Blackberry right now, like you'll be very few parents who are already there lined up for the uniform. So it means even the ambience in which you'll be shopping which be very, will be very nice. Eh? Mm -hmm. Bookshops right now, one, two, three, four, five parents, it's not as crowded as January. So apart from saving an, uh, a small coin, a coin or two, then it also means that you have enough time to choose and make the right choice for for the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe you tell us the second thing. For me, my girl, and then so by the way, school fees also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to pay on time. Yeah, yeah. I so just, before you even you talk you about school fees, maybe maybe let me just say something that I'm prepared about. First and foremost, I don't celebrate any of the holidays in December. Mm -hmm. I consider it just like any other month, but it's ending the year. Mm -hmm. So people are normally very duty about this. Mm -hmm. But I can say something about visiting um, people from the shops. Okay, know, yeah, shops, yeah. shops in uh, English as it called, it's just shops, yeah? From the rural area. The village. <laughs> from yeah. the village. Yeah, I, I know general, uh, December is that month. Each and every too shiny. To What's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So all I can say is that you have to plan yourself 
very good because you know there's life after that holiday. Because they're not the holiday, they're just two days. I know people celebrate 25th and in fact, in fact, in fact, it's 25th and 26th. Those 25th are the public only. holidays, 25th yeah, and 26th. But they actually take a toll on us. Yes. The two days are quite expensive. But me, all I can say, because I know me, okay, because I, I can say because December, people normally give in holidays because each and every company is closing down for preparing for the new year. I can say that I normally travel a lot, maybe to the shelves, but what I normally do is pay my rent on time. Most of the January, uh, the January rent I normally pay it on time because remember So, December, so you pay December I pay and you pay, you pay January. January. Yeah, so because that's... most companies get that, they normally pay you for bonus. Yes. So, so that you don't use your bonus in a bad way. You can pay, you your, can rent. pay your rent on time. If you have the money, which it's very advisable. And talking yeah. about that, I think now this is the right time for you to move. If you want to move out, yeah. If you want to change, if you want to move to another estate, or if you want to move to another village, if you want to move to another, like another house, mm -hmm. I think it's the right time because, like January, is very tough for you to get that money to pay deposit, rent, and you know new house, new things. Mm -hmm. There are th a few things here and there that you really have to add. Yeah. So if you're planning to move, I think. December right now mm -hmm. it is a bit squeezed it is a bit tough but you better squeeze it now mm -hmm. when you can at least afford than trying to look for a house in January when you don't have the time and especially you do not have the money so I think also right now is the right time to move if you're and looking for houses mm -hmm. then you can scout around very true yeah and speaking of movement December like I don't know the rates are here with us what I normally do this is my I can say it like it's a hack mm -hmm. like when I'm searching for a house but right now I'm definitely House. Yeah. So when you're scouting for a house, I normally like searching for rental houses when it rains. You know why? So you get to know oh, the area you're going to live in. Is it muddy yeah. or places like South Sea Ports? Mm -hmm. There are houses where when it rains, the, oh, the yeah. rainwater enters your house. Yeah, yeah. So, so it I gets flooded. It gets flooded. Oh, okay. So I think when so, it rains, mm -hmm. you it's can... advisable to search for a house so that you know when it rains, are you going to step on that mud or mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because definitely you'd want to, and if you're moving, sewer, yeah. you'd want, sorry, you'd want a better place than where you're coming from. Mud, mud is not one of the things you'll be looking for a house that is, <laughs> or floods, because it's not even good for Plus your health. Plus the sewer system in Nairobi, there's some yeah, estates yeah. when it rains, the sewer system bursts. So just in case like you are planning to move, is the right time. For the next right year, here. I think next year starts in December. in December. So don't wait for next year, that is January. Mm -hmm. And if you miss it, probably you will be able to catch up in March. That yeah. is the time now, at least you've settled some debts, you hear the holiday mood is over, then you can really move. But if you want to move in January, then this is the right time to look for a house, pay the deposit, pay the rent. Even if now you're going to move on the 1st of January, but the financial bit of it is already settled yeah and then there's something that i'm doing before general reaches remember right now many companies the supermarkets they have offers black fridays and everything so what i've decided to do like right, right now when you buy house stuff right now when i buy house stuff i buy when i'm planning the first of january meaning by now i take advantage of the offers and the bonuses they're everywhere in yeah. supermarkets but please everywhere. not food stuff because expiry dates no, no, no. are very they're, they're <laughs> basic the likes of tissues yeah, oil, yeah, 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 yeah. so shop mm -hmm. meanwhile because i know most shops they'll be having their black fridays extended maybe a few days so yeah. take advantage so that generally things will be very costly because remember most companies they're moving things from maybe outside the country they, they are purchasing new products yeah like important stuff yeah, yeah. important stuff even speaking of clothes maybe you can tell us more so now that you are a, a shopper <laughs> We're actually having offers. I think no yeah. November is just a good time to shop. Actually, it's coming to an end, but I, yeah. most probably it will be extended for a week into December, you know. And right now, I think what is expensive are kids' clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, because kids and Christmas and new clothes. Mm -hmm. But adults' clothes, I think for now, in fact, in November, there are so many offers. Even if you check on Facebook, if you check on social media, I think there's companies that are giving crazy offers. And in this November, it was happening so that people can get new stuff for December, for the Christmas. So right now, if you, you know, we adults, you're not looking so much into this fancy, fancy Christmas clothes. We're just trying to buy something so that you don't walk naked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so take advantage of the times and save a coin. I know it's, it's very important. So we might, I think we have talked a lot. Yeah, and I think we can talk for ages. But it's just a reminder. It's just yeah. a reminder. Don't call me a witch. If in you have January. something to save, if you have a fixed account somewhere where you can do that money in the middle of 
January. Actually, there are companies that save for you money for the whole of the year, and you're given in January. Yeah. I found that so nice. Eh? Mm. You were given like Even it is not in your disposal. Yeah. But what do you do with the money? Imagine saving from January to December only to drink liquor with that money. It doesn't make sense. Like what they do mostly, you save money in January to December. You're given in January. Mm-hmm. That is when you need it most. Mm-hmm. So that, if you can so fix, true. by the way, if it's a nice one, if you can fix your money in from January mm-hmm. up to December, mm-hmm. only for you to withdraw it in January, I think it is something that you dream. But really, I think what really I was good. talking about, there's some people who save money. You can imagine saving money all the way from January yeah. to December. And then in December, all you do is just Aki, drink and away. hang out with friends. <laughs> It's not reasonable. At least do something. Buy something. Invest in something that you will account for maybe in the coming year. Saving culture is tough. We are still learning. I'm not the best at it. Yeah, so that is all we had for today. Just a reminder. Look for that school. Get those books. Get the shoes. Pay rent. Pay rent. Shopping, school fees. Don't spend so that in January. Carry, at least carry. three, four, five people can still yeah. afford a smile in the streets. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. All right, that's guys. Meet. Bye. That's it for week. today. So. And I just missed sipping my. <laughs> What's this again? This is um uh, mint, pineapple mint, and it's so tasty. And maybe we can just show you around where we are. How can you turn off the camera there? There, 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 there,